So you're thinking about moving to Woodstock, Georgia and your budget is in the 600s and that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. We're gonna take you around, show you a couple of different properties in the 600s, see what your money will buy. We'll give you a variety of new, old, rural, congested, all that stuff. So if you have any interest in Woodstock and your budget's in the 600s, you're gonna wanna stick around for that and we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Atlanta, Georgia, then subscribe below and ring the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know when we release new content like this and stay up to date on the current market here in Atlanta. My name's Denny, the team and I get calls each and every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Atlanta and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week, next year or anytime in between, call, text, email, schedule a Zoom, We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta. As I mentioned, if your budget's in the 600s and you want to live in Woodstock, we're going to take you around to a couple of different properties and a couple of different price points. And then if you'll stick around to the end, I'm going to circle back and tell you about this amazing new construction community right here in Woodstock that's just a two minute drive or a 10 minute walk right down Main Street and you're in the middle of downtown Woodstock. So stick around and let's get to that first property. Man, it is hot today while I'm out shooting, but it's, uh, it's probably because it's July in Atlanta. If you don't know, it's called Hot Atlanta for a reason, because it does get hot, sunny, humid. So I'm sweating, got my glasses on, I apologize, but I have blue eyes and every time I get out in the sun, I start sneezing. So I have some light sensitivity. Anyway, enough about me. This is a gorgeous neighborhood. That's the property at hand right there. I'm gonna walk right by it, but it's uh, built in 2015. You have swim, tennis here in the neighborhood. You're just uh, like maybe two or three minutes from downtown Woodstock, shopping, dining, eating, entertainment, lots of parks and recreation. The school systems are amazing. So there's a lot to love. Uh, listed at $620,000 and it's right at, I wanna say 3,400 square feet and some change, five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. Uh, and, and the biggest challenge that they're gonna have is decoration perspective the furniture and the decor is not exactly you know up to current trends and so when you're in a six hundred and twenty thousand dollar price point you know everything has to be on point didn't uh, you know for a while there was such a seller's market that anybody could put anything on the market and sell it now buyers are getting a little pickier because they can be sellers have to be a little more conscious of presenting themselves and putting the best foot forward when it comes to decluttering and making sure that the home, that it looks great from the outside, the yard looks great, you know, so you're gonna, just gonna have to look past the sofa and things like that. But if you can, put yourself in this home with your stuff and envision what your life would be like. They are gonna struggle in the low sixes in this neighborhood. That's like a new barrier. Uh, I'd say the high fives was the sweet spot and now with the inventory still low, it's not a buyer's market, but it's not quite as white hot in terms of a seller's market with interest rates going up and things of that nature. And so who knows, it might still be available when you're watching this. And this is the market where I'm starting to see there get some discounts, getting some cash back towards closing and some seller incentives. So we'll see, you never know. All you gotta do is ask. Right, so this Woodstock home was built in uh, 2015, so about seven years ago now, and uh, it's a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom, 3,382 square feet. So it's a fairly new neighborhood. You can see um, it's swim, tennis. It also has a private 
lake with walking trail. And so this property right here behind me is listed at $629,000. I will tell you, it's been on the market for 60 days and there are some homes that are listed lower in the neighborhood and that's gonna hurt its resale value. So what the market is telling this particular seller is that the home is overpriced, but it's currently listed for $629. Again, it's fairly new. And so you're gonna see it's nice, light, white uh, paint with uh, dark hardwood flooring. And so it's a great property. We're only a few minutes from downtown Woodstock. The schools are amazing. Matter of fact, the school's really like out of the neighborhood, right across the street. So you, you, your kids could even walk to school or you could walk them to school. And so there's a lot to love about it, but I do think the price is gonna have to come down a little bit more before they find a buyer or they're ultimately gonna have to keep it. Let's go check out the next one. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that tour. I'm gonna to show you, well, like I promised, my favorite stop on this tour is a development called South on Main. Uh, and you're just really like a two minute car drive, five or 10 minute walk right down Main and you'll hit downtown Woodstock where there's shopping and dining and restaurants and breweries and cafes and parks and all that kind of stuff. And, but that's if you wanna travel. If your budget's in the 600s and you wanna have it right here in your neighborhood, this development, so John Whelan, it's called JW Collection, and uh, the, the single family homes are in the 900s, even a million, but townhomes like the one right here, the, there's new ones being built and they are still in the 600s. Uh, you're talking about 2,400 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, amazing layouts. Right here on the main road, there's a couple of different shops and things that you could just walk up. You know, you lock your door and walk right out and go. Uh, but as you get further into the neighborhood, uh, right down there on the left, if you can see that white building, that is the clubhouse. There's a pool and a splash pad and all of those things. Down in the middle, there's a huge playground for children, a huge green space as well. So the neighborhood amenities are second to none. And again, brand new construction. You do get a design budget. I, I don't know if you can see this, but each one is you know designed individually. They all look unique. There's no cookie cutter going on here. The finishes inside are second to none and you get a design budget to do that. So uh, that's the 600s in the Woodstock area. Hey, listen, if you haven't already, do me a favor, subscribe below, ring the bell for notifications so you know when we release new content. As always, we appreciate all of our subscribers, all of our viewers. If, if you have a question, drop that in the comments. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, call, text, email, schedule a Zoom. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Woodstock. And as always, until we see you in person, hopefully we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.